And just as we saw the competitive juices of the of the Hall of Famers and the MVPs and the great Pro Bowlers of the past, now we get to see the competitive juices literally flow for the strongest man. Well, it's 225 pounds, Tom, which is the weight that everybody lifts at Combines College Pro, as you point out. It's easy to follow at home, folks. <laughs> you lift it the most times, you win. Yeah, for that would have been decent if you were not here. See? I would have been decent. <laughs> In 2006, the first man up was Larry Allen. This didn't sit easy with the rest of the contestants. The brutally strong Allen went on to bench 225 43 times. Most contestants weren't even close, while others didn't even bother trying. Turns out, Larry Allen doesn't have the most reps ever by an NFL player. In fact, there are eight other players who have reached a higher mark, and the man at the top may shock you. But first, this video is brought to you by SeatGeek. Seeky takes tickets from all across the web and puts them into one area, making buying simple. They're rated on a scale from 1 to 100, so you know you're getting a good deal. Plus, if you haven't yet, use my promo code KTO for $20 off your first purchase. Shout out to SeatGeek for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. On any given year, the NFL invites 335 athletes to its official combine. If you look at the numbers of all the athletes combined since 1998, that gives you just over 7,000 potential draftees. Among those 7,000, just 18 of them have managed to put up 40 reps or more. That's just below 0.3% of potential NFL players. And after doing the math, roughly 0.7% of all linemen have reached this mark. 40 reps is no joke. If you insert Larry Allen's mark from the 06 Pro Bowl, since we aren't sure what his pro numbers look like, this would put him tied ninth all time. At the top, as the standalone player to reach 51 reps was a man named Justin Ernest. This incredible milestone is 16 more reps than all pro defensive tackle Aaron Donald. Here's the crazy thing though, even with that feat of strength, Justin Ernest went undrafted. He was picked up by the New Orleans Saints, where he barely lasted one season in the league. He never even played a single down in the NFL. Even though there's several factors to why his career may have not worked out. One, how's this dude so brutally strong? And two, I began to question the test itself. Before the NFL scouting combine, one year, you released a video of you, I believe you were benching 463 pounds. Yes. Just based on combine skills alone. I would be horrible. I wouldn't be invited to the draft. I probably would be kicked out of the combine. Um, I know a lot about strength and fitness and um, upper body reps for uh, a segregated weight for max is a horrible test for the combine athletes. I love the agility test. I love the sprint tests, uh, vertical jump. All that stuff is really fun to watch, but uh, Step, step your game up with a strength assessment, NFL. It is bizarre to think that every other test at the combine is one explosive movement to determine how an athlete is in that area. But for strength, they rep out a weight that pretty much every NFL player can do easily. There are strength coaches that agree with John Cena on stack.com in an article titled, How Top Strength Coaches Would Improve the NFL Scouting Combine. All three of the interviewed coaches mentioned their disagreements with the test. Two of them mentioned the idea of a kneeling overhead med ball toss as a better method to test upper body strength. I could see how that makes sense, but since we don't have that test in play for this video, we're going to have to look at something else. By taking the maxes of three lifts, bench press, squats, and deadlift, we can start to get a sense of who the strongest NFL player is. And we get to see just how superhuman these guys really are. With the help of this article from Massonomics.com, who dove deep into researching, one rep max calculating, and scientifically guesstimating the potential lifting numbers of a handful of the league's strongest players, we can get a pretty good idea of what some of these dudes lift. Let's start with a punter. You think these guys are a joke? Steve Weatherford might change your mind. This guy totals approximately 1,425 pounds from these three lifts. In 2011, while serving as the Giants punter, he was featured on the cover of Men's Fitness. His teammates called him the strongest player pound for pound on the team. Now, how about the wild man himself, James Harrison? Watching him lift leaves me at a loss for words. I don't know whether I should be impressed or terrified. His total is approximately 1,795 pounds. 
What an animal. Next, Vernon Davis can make a case for one of the greatest pure athletes ever. As a tight end that stands at 6'3", 244, his combine stats were out of this world. This includes a 4'340", a 42-inch vertical, and 33 reps on the bench. At his time at the University of Maryland, he about shattered every lifting record that they had. His total is approximately 1,885 pounds. Now, it's time for the big boys. Up next, Andrew Billings. This man accumulated a total of 2,010 pounds while he was in high school. He did this at the Texas State High School Championships for powerlifting. He broke the previous record, which was set by Mark Henry. Yeah, this Mark Henry. This is a 4,600 pound automobile. Oh my God. And last, we have Steven Paya, the guy who stands in second behind Justin Ernest for the NFL bench combine record. His total stands at 2,060 pounds. According to the website, Steven Paya is most likely the strongest NFL player ever. Psych. Clearly, they forgot about the man who once benched 700 pounds. A man who had an official squat of 905 pounds. A man who once did 10 reps of incline bench at 520 pounds. This dude measured in at 325 pounds with only 11% body fat. Some call him the most athletic big man in NFL history. As impressive as it is to see someone bench 745s, a 10 and a two and a half on each side, it'll never be as impressive as what he did on this play. Under five minutes left in the half, and that's not in the air and picked off by Gary and Connor. And Connor is inside the 40, the 30, and tackled at the 16 yard line. Larry, Larry Allen, I can't believe that. Right into cut. Allen is still standing there. There he is to the left of your screen. He didn't even get a running start at it. Look at this, folks. 325 pounds. His arms like a sprinter. I'm telling you, that's one of the most impressive.